Hi friends, this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a screw jack in KTRV5. On the right side you can see the complete assembled design of the screw jack and on the left side you can see the different drawings which are required to complete the, to complete the design. So you can see that uh, the different drawings are right here. You can see this is a complete assembled drawing and you can see the different uh, parts which are required so you have seven parts in the screw jack and we are going to design the third part which you can see over here so I'll just take the drawing for that respective uh, part here <coughs> so you can see the part is right here and I'm going to select a new drawing for this So you got to name that drawing. Go for a new drawing and name it as screw jack space three space screw spindle. So we're going to design the screw spindle over here. <coughs> All right. So if you want to see this drawing in this manner, you can also do that. Alright, don't bother about this. We are going to just concentrate on this particular drawing here. So, how are we going to design that? Just as we have done before, select the front view and start off uh, giving a sketch. So, I'm just. Uh, no, don't go for this kind of automatic dimensions. somewhere over here don't worry about the shape just make sure that uh, you know it follows follows a pattern which can be redimensioned alright now this particular distance over here is 11 and don't worry about the things which you can see inside which, uh, which we're going to design later and this is a 13 this must be 45 and again this is uh, another 45 and uh, the total distance the total height is uh, 1240 right now this is uh, 17 as we have done before so you must be wondering how this is uh, 17 so in my previous tutorial I've shown you that uh, the threading over here is uh, 38 so we have given uh, two, 2 mm uh, you know clearance for that and we have reduced and given the dimension but because they haven't actually given the uh, uh, dimension for this so this is the dimension for the thread alright now this must be a 10 <coughs> and again this must be another 10 and from here to to the top is a 83 and this is a 65 divided by 2 so suddenly your drawing completely turns to green that means that our drawing is completely constrained so if you if your drawing doesn't turn green you really have to check it and uh, see if you if you have you know missed out some dimensions or if you have made some open sketch or etc so you can check that using the sketch analysis All right in sketch analysis you'll find that uh, there are 10 curves so if you have more you need to check it just come out of the sketch 
and do a shaft with respect to the Z axis. So we got that uh, main portion of the screw spindle and this is it for this particular part of the tutorial and I hope you enjoyed this if you have any doubts or clarifications you can comment below on my video and I'll be getting in touch with you if you have any CAD projects which you want me to do you can write to me at ketia.pro.user at gmail.com ketia.pro.user at gmail.com and that's all stay tuned for the next tutorial thank you